Hi everyone, welcome to the 13th session of Python 3 Basics. In this session, we will learn about the loop loops and moreover, we will learn about the nested loop is a process in which a loop is called inside a loop. So, suppose we have a for loop uh, and if we call another for loop inside this for, then that is called a nested for loop. Uh, what we will do here, if we want to form a coordinate system like x is 0, y is 0 and z is 0 and again we want to have like x should be varies from 0 to x varies from uh, it, it should varies from 0 to 2 and uh, y will vary from 0 to 3 and z will vary from 0 to 4 so the coordinate system that we want to build is 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 2 something like that so how do we how we will form that so that will be simple for x in range we want uh, the, uh, the range of x which is between from 0 1 2 so we, it will go till 3 because in the range function if, if we say uh, range of 3 it will take 0 1 2 if we take range of 4 then it will take 0 1 3 and so for y in range what is the range of y is so it will get 4 and again for z in range 5 Okay, and we'll say print x comma y comma z. And if we execute this, and range of z will be till five. Okay, so if we execute this again, you can see the coordinate is formed. So how this is working? The coordinate system like uh, the very first three number which is formed here is zero zero zero, then zero zero one, zero zero two, zero zero three, zero zero four. It works as at the first time when the value of x is in range 3 so it takes the value of x is 0 and then it goes into the second for loop where again y will be 0 and then again it goes to the third for loop where z will be 0 so 0 0 0 will be formed and then after that the value of x and y remain the same the value of z will be changed from 0 till 4 0 1 2 3 4 so you can see the value of z changes 0 1 2 3 4 and then again it it come back to the second for loop y the value of y now changes from 0 to 1 so you can see here this value of this column the second column this value of y changes from 0 to 1 and then for each like one the value of z also changes from 0 1 2 3 4 and that's how the process works now if you want to see the uh, uh, debugging uh, how this works in the debugging mode we can do that very easily in order to debug this we need to do a set checkpoint we'll give a checkpoint here and again we'll give a checkpoint here okay now what we'll do in order to move it uh, to the debug mode we'll give control f5 key followed by line by line execution we'll give the control f so the value of x is 0 y is 0 y is z is 0 now the value of z will change 1 z changes to 1 2 now it changes to 2 3 4 and then it will go back to y because we are given the range as 5 now the value of y is 0 it will change to 1 now 1 and then at the moment value of y changes to 1 the value of z will change to again 0 till 5 you see 0 1 2 3 4 and then it will again move to the value will go to y y changes to 2 and again z will change then y changes to 3 then y will change and now you see the moment the entire loop of y and z is complete then the value of x is incremented and this is how the for loop will work the when we give the three uh, loop the inner loop innermost loop will will be executed that many time followed by the outermost and then the outermost loop will be executed in the last so this is the mechanism or the execution of for loop in python so uh, this is how we execute this now if i want to uh, print this in a proper format in the uh, formatting of uh, like uh, what we say uh, the coordinate system so i'll remove this breakpoints uh, so what i will say i'll give format in the colon and then i will say this is this should be my this is how we print it and then if we, this is other variable so it should be inside this curly braces now 
Now, if we print this, so you can see this is printed in a proper coordinate system. So that's how we use for loop. Now, before uh, like completing this class, uh, I want to give a small challenge. Uh, okay, that will be our next session. But before that, I want to show you one more uh, task that we can achieve through um, Python for loop is creating this. Uh, suppose we have we can do multiple things. We can draw this. So like this is a small task. It's very easy. So I just want to uh, like give some time. And if you can achieve this, please paste the code in the comment section, how you achieve this in Python. Remember there, are, we will uh, use two for loop for this. The first for loop will decide the number of line where you want to uh, like display and the next line you have to iterate how many star you want to print that is the end. so thanks a lot for watching this session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and uh, if you are able to uh, like code this please paste this code in the comment section i'll see you in the next video thank you